Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here as always. We have officially kicked off the beginning of the year and something that we all tend to do at this time of year is check our health how we're living, how we're eating, which is why things like Veganuary have become so popular because more and more of us are wanting to adopt a vegan and plant-based lifestyle. Now, something I've seen quite often over the years are people taking on these diets and then falling off the wagon because they don't feel good, they have no energy and just generally don't feel that great about themselves. And this is generally due to the fact that they're not eating the right foods. I know here in London, a lot of the vegan food available is processed and it's fast food and it's just not good for you. The best option is always to cook from home and make sure you're eating the freshest of foods. I will say that even the freshest foods are not quite what they were years and years ago. Our soils are very depleted and the food isn't as nutritious as once before, which is exactly why I wanted to share the essential vitamins you'll need on a plant-based diet. Now, each of our bodies work very, very differently and some of us will need certain vitamins over others. So something I always, always recommend is to go for yearly blood tests so you can keep on top of exactly what your body needs. But these vitamins I'm sharing today are the essential ones when on a plant-based diet. Today, I'm gonna to explain the natural way you can get these vitamins into your body through foods. And I'm also gonna share the supplements that I use that are good quality and safe because there's a lot of vitamins out there that just are full of dodgy ingredients that you don't wanna be putting into your body. So I've done my research and it's, like I said, vitamins that I would put into my own body that I'm sharing with you. So guys, let's get straight into this week's video. Please remember to subscribe, it supports me as a digital creator. And once you have, we can get into this week's video. So I wanna kick off with the vitamin that we are probably all aware of. It's the most spoken about vitamin when turning to a plant-based diet and it's vitamin B12. So this vitamin is crucial for the health of our nervous system. Not enough of it will lead to things like anemia, nerve damage. It can also cause infertility and also heart disease. So it's a very important vitamin to be getting into our bodies. There are quite a few ways to get B12 naturally in a vegan diet, although a lot of people say that it's impossible, but animals have to eat the plants in order to get the B12. So they're just sort of the middleman between us and the B12. So one way that we can get it is through eating unwashed organic foods. I know that that is so hard to do nowadays because everything comes in a supermarket packaged, sparkling clean. But if you can go to a farmer's market and get organic food there, I myself grow a lot of my food. So I eat it straight from the ground. Um, and that is a great way of getting your vitamin B12. Nutritional yeast is another great way of getting your B12, but you have to make sure it's fortified with B12. You can get nutritional yeast that isn't, that's not gonna be doing anything for you. So you need to get the one that says fortified with B12. It's the same for plant milks. Some of them you can get that are fortified with B12, but just make sure, check the ingredients, check there's nothing else in there that would be sinister. But Mardi Gold's nutritional yeast is absolutely great. Those of you that haven't tried nutritional yeast, it has a cheesy flavor. I sprinkle this on like my soups. I'll make like a cheesy sauce with it. You can take this, but you can eat it with a lot of foods. So that's another great option. Chlorella is another way of getting your B12. Also spirulina and nori, these are all forms of algae or seaweed. Um, and they are great for B12 intake. This is a brand I absolutely love, it's Kiki Health. And this is currently the option I am taking because I was using a B12 supplement, which was a spray. And I noticed, which is why you always have to check the ingredients, that the ingredients had changed without me knowing. And I think there was some sugars in there and stuff that just didn't need to be in there. I don't know why they changed it. I am always more for the natural way over the supplement, but I will have the supplements to hand just in case. So with things like chlorella and spirulina, most of us will probably assume that you can only get it in powders. I remember when I first turned to a plant-based diet years and years and years ago, a lot of this stuff was just available in powders and was impossible to consume. Like it just tasted, oh, like awful. Um, but this brand, Kiki Health, which I'm a huge fan of, and those of you that have been following me for a while will know how much of a fan I am because it's the majority of what I use is Kiki Health. 
but they have um, made them into tablets, as you can see. There is nothing else in that tablet other than the chlorella. So all they've really done is just compress the powder so much that it's just stuck together. We do buy the spirulina powder for Tommy because he loves it. He won't eat any of his food without the spirulina, but you can get them in tablet form if taste is something that you have an issue with. So supplement wise, there aren't many, if I'm honest with you, there is Nourished. I've spoken about them before. I'll pop an insert here so you guys can see it because I don't have it with me because I'm currently using the Corella, but Nourished are a great brand and also Dr. Vegan. Again, I'll insert what I don't have up here so you guys can see it. And I'll also link it all below for you. So the next vitamin is omega-3. Now this is a vitamin that the body cannot produce itself, so we have to consume it. It also plays a structural role in our brain and our eyes, reduces the risk of inflammation, depression, breast cancers, and ADHD. So the natural foods for this vitamin are actually very easy to get. The first thing are chia seeds, which are super easy to consume. You can put these on your smoothie bowl, you can blend them into things. You can also just pour them into a glass with water and drink them. That's a really great way if you can't be bothered to faff about. I know when I don't have time, that's the way I do it. We also have walnuts. Walnuts are a great source and they're absolutely delicious, so there's no excuse. And another one is flax seeds. You can also get it in a few forms of algae and also buckthorn. I know that's something that we don't really get here in the UK. I find it quite often in Poland, but buckthorn is absolutely amazing. And not only does it give you the omega-3, it gives you the six, nine, and also seven, which is quite difficult to get in a lot of foods. So if you can get your hands on any buckthorn, I would say stock up. The one that I did try though was, it wasn't very tasty. I'm gonna be honest with you, in Poland I found in the local farmer's market, this lady juiced the buckthorn, the fresh buckthorn that was growing at the time, because everything's seasonal, of course, into a bottle. And I bought a few bottles and it was the hardest thing to drink, but I knew it was good for me. So depends how far you want to go, but you can supplement, of course. If none of those things take your fancy or you don't like them, but I'm sure there's something there. I mean, the chia seeds, like I said, you can just put into a glass of water and drink them. You won't even notice that they're there. So supplement wise, we have been on this one. It's called Healthy Yeti. It's their omega-3 with the DHA and the EPA. It's made in the UK and this contains 30 vegan soft gels for you to have. It also says that it's vegan friendly, lactose free, sugar free and GMO free. So this is the one that we're on at the moment. I've been wanting to get more algae into my body because as well as the vitamins that I'm mentioning today, they contain so many vitamins and minerals that are just fantastic for our overall health. So yeah, this is a great one. Next up, we have iron, which is another very important vitamin to consider when going onto a plant-based diet. Iron is used to make new DNA and red blood cells. It's also responsible for carrying oxygen in the blood. So a very important vitamin. Now, the foods that you can get iron naturally are nuts, seeds, beans, any kind. Also, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower, they are just amazing vegetables for your health and well-being and also something else you can do which we do we have and we bought our cast iron um, pots so when you're cooking the they're sort of fortified with the iron we do cook mainly with cast iron cookware so that's another great option again I'll link I'll find you some good cast iron cookware and I'll link it below although they're very very heavy like you need some guns but I suppose like I sometimes do some, some lifts with them while I'm cooking. So supplement wise, we have been using a brand called Together. They're very, very good. This is um, a recent brand, but they do a ton of different vitamins. There's a huge range. I saw them in uh, Planet Organic the other day and there was just so, so many. But these are their gentle iron tablets with B vitamin. Um, no additives, gentle on the stomach is exactly what we wanna hear. It's certified vegan and cruelty free, no artificial flavors, no artificial processing aids, grown without pesticides, and like they mentioned, gentle on the stomach. The packaging is also fantastic. You can see it's recyclable. I haven't actually mentioned most of the packaging, but whenever you're buying vitamins, 
either glass, dark glass, because when it's not dark, the light will hit the vitamin and it will just deplete and there'll be nothing left for you. Um, and also this sort of packaging is obviously very sustainable. Both are very sustainable and the correct way to be getting your vitamins. There's also a few more great brands like Nature's Well and also Wild Earth. Again, I'll pop them all there. I don't have every single vitamin. I just have one at a time because I don't want them to expire. As well as popping them there, I'll link them below because I know that not every single vitamin will be available for everyone. So we need to broaden our horizons a little bit. Next up is calcium and it's obviously the vitamin that supports our bone health throughout our entire life and contradictory to what we're told that it's only available in milk that isn't the best way and also studies have shown that it actually makes the bones more fragile i've witnessed in my own family people that drink a ton of milk keep breaking their bones the foods that you can get calcium naturally are things like kale broccoli pak choy and chickpeas they're all great sources of calcium and like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you're eating a wide variety of healthy foods, from veg to grains to beans to fruits, you're gonna be covering most of this, I promise you. So supplement wise, we have uh, Garden of Life and this is their organic plant calcium. It also has vegan D3, vitamin K2 and magnesium in it. This is a great brand. It's certified organic, it's non-GMO verified certified gluten-free by NSF and obviously vegan certified. This is also a great size. There's 90 tablets in here. So that should last around about a month in there. And you'll see that this comes in a dark bottle. There are also some other brands that again, I will pop here. There's one by a brand called Pure Synergy and it's their bone renewal. They're really good. And also Plant Fusion. Okay, now we're going to talk about iodine, which is crucial for the health of our thyroid function. To get this vitamin naturally, you can get this in most seaweeds. So you've got things like dulce, nori, there are a ton of seaweeds out there. It's such a shame because whole foods, I remember back in the day, used to sell them um, and you could just pick them up and add them to your salads. I do get them dried there's a few like nori you can get dried the brand is clear spring i'll link them below also iodinized salt which obviously you can use quite easily and get that into your diet supplement wise i have none actually because i've run out but one that i do use is future kind and it's in liquid form i'll pop that there another one i use is dr seaweed and it's their weed and wonderful and that is a pure seaweed capsule I'll pop them there and link them below. And also Golden Greens Kelp Capsules. I forgot about kelp. Kelp is another great seaweed to be consuming. The last vitamin I want to talk about is vitamin D. And this goes for every single one of us, regardless of what we're eating, especially when we live in a dark and gloomy place like London. Although today I can see the sun coming through the clouds, creeping over the hedges. I can't quite believe it, but it is a sunny day. So straight after I film this, I'm going to sit outside and take in some sun. But the majority of the time, vitamin D is a vitamin we are not gonna be getting enough of. Vitamin D helps with the absorption of calcium and phosphorus. It also has a huge, huge effect on our immune system function, memory, mood, and also muscle recovery. This is definitely a vitamin that you need to be getting tested for every single year. When I'm in Poland, it is just standard. Like everybody goes for a vitamin D test. There is vitamin D available everywhere, like everywhere you turn. And when you go to the pharmacy to get anything else, or if you're going there for even to buy like a lip balm, they'll ask you what's going on with your vitamin D and suggest some supplements. Now, the way you can naturally get vitamin D is to sit in the sun. So I know over the past two weeks, we've literally had no sun, but, but like a day like today, this would be your time to get outside with no sunscreen, nothing whatsoever, just your bare skin, roll up your sleeves, you know, put your face in the sun and let the sun sink into your skin for about 15, 20 minutes. Don't worry about any sun damage. This is what your body needs. This is a vital vitamin for us. Obviously, you know, don't go out when it's 30 degrees plus in the middle of the day where you're gonna burn. That's not the way to get it. 
but a day like today where it's cold, the sun isn't strong, early morning, let those sun rays sink in. Supplement wise, one we've been using recently is by Better You and it's a oral spray and it's a thousand DLUX per spray. So dependent on how much you need. I do about two or three sprays, especially when I haven't had any sun whatsoever because I suffer really, really badly with, I think I've got the SAD, the SAD. I just get very, very depressed. Although this comes in plastic, it is all recycled. That's the one we use. A few other ones, there's Aura Soul Food, which are tablets, which I'll pop here. Obviously the Better You spray that I just mentioned and Naturello, I think that's how you say it, but I'll pop that there. There are a few other good ones. Again, with this vitamin, like I mentioned, have it stocked supplement wise in your cupboard over the dark cold months because it's absolutely essential for every single one of us no matter what and that i think is the end of this week's video i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you found it useful and informative any questions that you may have please drop them below i'm always here to help also if you guys know of any great brands that i haven't mentioned that we can share with the rest of the community also please comment them below don't forget to follow me on instagram it's at honestly alessandra i am active daily over there and you can come and say hey and also as i mentioned earlier please remember to subscribe to my channel because it really does help with the growth of it until next week guys stay safe and stay healthy bye guys